And what is my project today? Project is, I've got to put this electrical outlet back in. I took it out initially, not because anything was wrong with it, but because I took it out, cut, cut out the box, pulled the box out so I could shove this wire in here. This is a new wire that was never in this box before. These were in here before that was connected to that. I'm still going to use this electrical um, receptacle and I've got my cover plate here. And now I got to put it back because I fished this down. I, I use this box to get power to go underneath the house. So I shoved this down underneath the house and did some work down there. Now, before I turn the breaker back on, I've got to, I've got to cover all this back up. I got to reconnect this. So that's, that's what I'm going to do. If that is what you want to see, stick around. Yeah, this is the last thing I've got to do. Put this back in and then I can turn the breaker on, check all my work downstairs that I did and the couch and everything. Okay, so I'm going to strip this wire, reach back as far as I can. Go just to there, get your hand out of the way. You don't want that to slip. I always retract my, my knife when I'm not using it. Okay, good way to cut your hand, your finger, your thumb, whatever, if you're not paying attention. Okay, so I've got, I got three sets of wires in here. I don't know if you saw me remove this electrical outlet. Well, it had a pigtail on there for the ground wire, and I thought I was going to reuse that. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that or not. I mean, I guess I could. I guess I could if I straightened it all out. Um, maybe, maybe I will use that. Okay. But what I'm going to do to get this in here, I've got to attach a, the ground wire. And so now, see, I've got, I'm, I'm, we're just going to work on that first. Okay. And I'm going to rearrange this so that when I get done with the ground, with the grounds, they'll all be pushed into the back of the box. So I'm just uh, rearranging this first so I got, I've got all those ground wires back like that. And see, what, what they did before, they connected these two and then they used this as a pigtail like that, connected all that, and so they only had one ground wire coming out to hook up to this, this receptacle. You have to have all the ground wires connected. And now that I have another ground wire in there, there's two ways I can do it. I can take, I can take some little uh, splice caps. They're, they're called crimp sleeves. It's just, it's just a round little copper goodie. I can put on there and crimp it wrap one, crimp it, wrap another one, crimp it. And I think I'm going to do that. Or the other option is I would have to cut, I would have to cut this back and see they've got these real short now. I wish they wouldn't have, I wish they would have made those a little bit longer. I could have cut this back right here and then put the pigtail on. If I didn't want to use that, every time I, I do work, I save my little pieces. So see, here's a brand new little piece. I could use that for my pigtail instead of this old one if I wanted. So see, I could connect all three of those and this all together. You know, cut that off and, and put it like that. But I'd need, I'd need a, uh, I, I don't know if I can get four of those wires under a yellow wire nut. I think I would need a red wire nut for that. And that's going to take up a lot of room in the back of this box. I was going to put a deep cut-in box. See how deep that is? I was going to put a deep one in there, but then I decided just to put the standard one. So that's, that standard one is only about that deep. So see, um, not only do I have to, if I, if I did it that way, I'd have a red wire nut. I, I might be able to fit them under a yellow, you know, possibly. I think I, I might be able to, because this is 14 gauge wire. It's, it's smaller than like 12 gauge. But then I would need a, a wire nut to connect uh, the white wires and the black wires. I'd have three wire nuts back in there. 
and I'm trying to do this to only have two wire nuts back there. Does that make sense? You keep following along. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna decide against using this uh, pigtail, but I'm gonna save that just in case if I ever need a little piece of wire for a pigtail and I don't have any more, uh, I'll use this one. That's fine. I can use that one. And see, this one's already long, so that's gonna be the one that's gonna connect up to this uh, this electrical outlet. And I'm gonna poke everything into the back of this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tighten up these side screws. That way it gives me a little bit of extra room, wiggle room when I'm pushing this in. Um, so I have enough room to get all these wires in. I think I'll be able to do it. And the other thing before you work on something like this, especially if you're working inside on, on a pre-finished wall, make sure you've got your hands clean. I've cleaned my, washed my hands really good before I started this. Last thing you want is to get all done and you got black marks all over here because you got your fingerprints on here and you're like, hey, where did Joe do that, do the work and have somebody roll their eyes. Well, all you have to do is go look at, look and see where you can see an electrical outlet with all kinds of goobers all the way around the cover plate because he didn't wash his hands, he didn't clean the wall when he got done and boom, there you go. Okay, so I'm gonna, it makes it a little bit more tricky because these are, are short, but I'm gonna take these and reach back there and twist those two together, okay? Like that. And I'm gonna take my, my pliers and give it another little twist, a Rooney. Just that much, that's connecting that up. You wanna have a good bond on your grounds and uh, the tips of these need to be straightened out. Okay, and this one's got a slight kink in it from where, where it was twisted before, you know, with this, with this other um, wire that I'm not gonna use now. We gotta get it tight enough to get the copper, that little sleeve on there, and then I'm gonna pinch that on there. And it's overhanging a little bit of the wire and I'm gonna give that a little umph. Then I can cut, I'm gonna cut the, one of those off and leave it about a half inch long. And then I'm gonna bend that up over that. Take my pliers and kinda of smash that down. That way the uh, crimper um, splice cap is not going to slide off. I, it's, it should never slide off. I've got it all wrapped around each other, okay? So that's how I connected those two together. Now I have to connect these two together, okay? You've got to get a continuous ground. And so I'm just going to flip that up towards the back. And that's why I'm using that one as the long one, you know, to put on here. And now I'm going to twizzle that on to the other one. Okay. Get my pliers in there. That is never going to come off. Can you see that? I mean, do I even have to put a splice cap on? I mean, that would never in a million years come off. But I think code says, hey, if you're gonna do that, you're gonna have to put the splice cap on. And they have a little tool put the splice caps on with a little doink, doink like that. Uh, but I don't have one. I just smash the side over with my pliers. I mean, good grief, that's never, that's never gonna come off, okay? And I'm gonna leave the long one and that little short one. See how much shorter that is now? But I'll, I'll still be able to get it. I'm gonna cut this off, about a half inch or so. Take that, bend it up over that, like that. Grab my pliers and kind of put that on there. Now I can kind of push that back into the back of the box, so to speak. 
like that. See that is should usually, you know, it's supposed to stick out about six inches. I only have about maybe three inches or so. That's going to go on my ground screw on the bottom left. So that's why I've got this on the bottom left. Okay. That's what I got so far. Now let's tackle the black wires and the white wires. And because it's just one electrical outlet, I don't care. Um, I have. I don't really care which which wire is the power coming into the box, which wires are the power going out. I don't really care. On these on these old old ones, one of this set, if I turn the electrical breaker on, one set's going to be hot. One set's not going to be hot. Because the one's coming into the box, whichever pair that is, that's going to be hot from whatever other plug is hooked up and then another one, another one, back to the electrical panel. This doesn't have to be at the end of the line or anything. Okay? And then whichever one's not hot goes up and it goes and feeds something else. It, 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 uh, it might go up. It, it doesn't feed the light switch. The light switch is on a, a, a separate circuit, different circuit than the, than the plugs. Okay? So, I, I'm going to... Let's just, let's just deal with the white wires, okay? 